Coming up next on Passion Struck, today we dive into a story that rivals even the thrills of this week's World Series finale. Imagine reaching the pinnacle of your dreams only to watch it all slip away inch by inch until you're left with nothing but a shadow of what you once had. But what if that loss wasn't the end? What if hitting rock bottom was the spark that ignited the journey to a life more meaningful than you ever imagined. In this episode, we explore the powerful tale of someone who fought their way back from the brink, not just to survive, but to find a purpose that went beyond anything the world could measure. We'll break down the hard-won lessons of resilience, purpose, and the undeniable power of second chances. You won't want to miss this one. It's about more than just a comeback. It's about building a life that truly matters. Welcome to Passion Struck. Hi, I'm your host, John R. Miles, and on the show, Show, we decipher the secrets, tips, and guidance of the world's most inspiring people and turn their wisdom into practical advice for you and those around you. Our mission is to help you unlock the power of intentionality so that you can become the best version of yourself. If you're new to the show, I offer advice and answer listener questions on Fridays. We have long form interviews the rest of the week with guests ranging from astronauts to authors, CEOs, creators, innovators, scientists, military leaders, visionaries, and athletes. Now, let's go out there and become Passion Struck. Hey, Passion Struck family. Welcome back to episode 528 of the Passion Struck podcast. I want to start by saying thank you to each and every one of you who tunes in week after week. Your energy, curiosity, and commitment to living a more intentional life makes this community what it is. And if you're joining us for the first time, welcome. You've just stepped into a movement that's all about living with purpose, meaning, and resilience. We're thrilled to have you with us. Before we jump in to today's episode, let's recap the powerful conversations we had this week. On Tuesday, I sat down with Eric Edmeads, who shared his insights on how our daily habits shape our long-term health. And then on Thursday, I had an inspiring conversation with Jason Silver, who revealed unconventional yet effective strategies for transforming your current job into a fulfilling and meaningful career. If you missed either one of those episodes, I highly recommend checking them out. I also have some exciting news to share with you all. My book, Passion Struck, recently won awards in two major competitions. At the prestigious BookFest Awards, it took first place in nonfiction self-help transformation and nonfiction young adult self-help. And we're also a winner in the 21st annual Best Book Awards, where Passion Struck won in three categories, business motivational, general nonfiction, and young adult nonfiction. I'm especially honored by the young adult recognition in both of these competitions, as inspiring the next generation of leaders was at the heart of this book. And as always, for those of you who are new to the show, wanting to share it with friends or family members, or looking to dive deeper, don't miss our episode starter packs. With over 500 episodes, we've made it easy by curating playlists based on themes like leadership, mental health, and personal growth. You can find these on Spotify or at passionstruck.com slash starter packs. And remember, my weekly Live Intentionally newsletter brings exclusive content, practical exercises, and tools to help you apply the insights from the podcast directly to your life. You can sign up at passionstruck.com. Now, on to today's episode, which I timed intentionally to align with the excitement of the World Series. While the world's best baseball players battle it out on the field, we're stepping into a story that goes beyond the diamond, a story that speaks to our most profound struggles and the incredible resilience within us. Today, we're delving deep into the story of Josh Hamilton. Drafted as the number one overall pick by the Tampa Bay Rays, right out of high school, Hamilton was destined for greatness from day one. His talent was undeniable, his potential limitless, and he was set to be one of the most impactful players in the game. Sometimes life takes us on unexpected detours. For Josh, an accident in 2001 marked the beginning of a downward spiral that saw him battling personal demons far removed from the roar of the crowd and the thrill of the field. He found himself struggling with a life that seemed worlds away from the dreams he once pursued. Through years of hardship and soul searching, Hamilton had to confront his past and make a choice about his future, a journey that would ultimately test his strength, resilience, and dedication to finding purpose again. His is a story of redemption and reinvention. It challenges each of us to ask, how can we reclaim our lives and create meaning, even when things seem dismal? What does it take to rebuild a life of purpose after hitting rock bottom? And how can we turn our own pain into a passionate, purpose-driven path? So today, as we journey through Josh Hamilton's remarkable experiences, we'll draw out key lessons that reach beyond baseball, inspiring us to reflect on the choices we make, the battles we face, 
and the legacies we hope to leave. Get ready to explore a story that shows the true power of resilience and courage it takes to reclaim our path. Thank you for choosing Passion Struck and choosing me to be your host and guide on your journey to creating an intentional life. Now, let that journey begin. Let's go back to the beginning, long before the fame, before the fall, and before the fight back to the top. Josh Hamilton's story is one of resilience, redemption, and the incredible power of a person's will to overcome. This isn't just about baseball. This is a journey through the darkest valleys of addiction and a climb back to purpose and significance. Today, let's walk through Josh Hamilton's story, a story of not only overcoming adversity, but finding meaning on the other side. Josh Hamilton's life started with a dream, a dream to become one of the greatest players to ever set foot on the baseball diamond. From a young age, it was clear that he was no ordinary player. Growing up in Raleigh, North Carolina, Hamilton had a gift that set him apart from everyone else. His swing was powerful. His instincts were sharp, and he had a natural love for the game. Coaches and scouts quickly took notice. Here was a player who wasn't just talented, he was extraordinary. Josh Hamilton's story was already taking shape as a legend in the making. In 1999, his life took a monumental turn. Straight out of high school, Josh was selected as the first overall pick in the Major League Draft by the Tampa Bay Rays. This was the dream realized. The big leagues calling his name with fans and scouts expecting him to become a star. At just 18, he was set to make his mark on baseball history. He wasn't just another young player. He was the future of the Rays franchise, and he carried the hope and promises of greatness with him. Hamilton had every reason to believe his life would be extraordinary. But here's the thing about greatness. It doesn't come without its challenges. And for Josh, the challenges would be more devastating than he could have ever anticipated. Then came the crash, a moment that would change everything. In 2001, only two years after being drafted, Hamilton was involved in a serious car accident. The injuries he sustained were physically painful, but the mental toll was even harder to bear. His rising career was halted. Day by day, he watched his hopes slip away as his recovery dragged on. Josh Hamilton's redemption seemed distant. Frustration and hopelessness crept in, and Hamilton found himself reaching for relief in the form of painkillers. What began as a way to cope with physical pain quickly became a destructive crutch. Painkillers turned into heavier drugs, eventually leading to cocaine. By 2003, Hamilton was trapped in the grip of addiction. He spiraled, breaking Major League Baseball's drug policies, facing repeated suspensions, and feeling his dreams crumble. The drugs took over every part of his life. Gone was the baseball prodigy. In his place was a man broken by substance abuse and disconnected from everything that he once loved. By 2004, Hamilton was essentially out of baseball and out of options. Baseball was no longer a part of his life. He had lost the significance and purpose he once felt, sinking deeper into a life that felt empty and meaningless. Days and nights blurred together, each one darker than the last. Josh Hamilton's redemption seemed impossible, and with each relapse, he felt himself slipping further away from any chance at recovery. In those dark years from 2004 to Josh Hamilton's story was one of survival rather than success. Attempts at recovery came and went, but the cycle of relapse was relentless. He had gone from a symbol of hope to a cautionary tale, his once bright future buried under the weight of his struggles. At his lowest point, Hamilton found himself completely cut from his career, his family, and any sense of direction. Just when Josh thought he had lost everything, an unexpected voice cut through the darkness. His grandmother, someone who had seen his rise and fall, confronted him. She wasn't going to let him go down this path without a fight. She gave him an ultimatum, either get clean or lose the support of the family that still loved him. This intervention was the turning point. Her words shook him, becoming the catalyst that finally pushed him to turn away from addiction and find a new path forward. In that moment, Hamilton saw a small glimmer of hope, a chance to turn his life around and reclaim the purpose he had lost. It was the beginning of Josh Hamilton's redemption. In 2006, Hamilton made the conscious choice that would change everything. He committed to sobriety, took control of his life, and embraced the hard work of recovery. No longer just an athlete, he approached baseball with a renewed sense of purpose, committing to intentional living, and using each day to fight for the life he wanted. He worked tirelessly to stay sober and reclaim his place on the field. The Cincinnati Reds ended up taking a chance on him, 
Making the start of Josh Hamilton's baseball comeback after eight years of battling addiction, he finally returned to the major leagues. This wasn't just a career milestone. It was a personal triumph, a victory over the demons that had nearly taken everything away from him. In 2008, the Texas Rangers traded for him, a turning point that allowed him to truly reinvent himself. Hamilton wasn't just back in the game. He was playing with a deeper sense of significance and purpose. He dedicated himself to his craft, showing resilience, gratitude, and an openness about his struggles. Fans saw him as a beacon of hope, a story of overcoming adversity, and finding meaning even after the darkest of times. He became a living example of what it means to turn pain into purpose. In 2010, Hamilton's transformation was complete. He won the American League MVP, hitting 359 with 32 home runs and leading the Texas Rangers to their first World Series. His redemption wasn't just measured in stats or wins. It was felt in the hearts of fans who saw in his journey a powerful story of resilience. In 2011, he returned to the World Series, solidifying Josh Hamilton's redemption story as one that spoke to anyone who had ever struggled, fallen, and fought to rise again. His journey became a legacy of second chances and determination, showing that finding purpose is not about perfection, but about persistence. Hamilton's story from addiction to purpose became a testament to the power of living intentionally, of choosing each day to be better than the last. And as we take in the highs and lows of Josh Hamilton's story, what stands out is not just his incredible comeback, but how he turned his darkest moments into a life filled with purpose and significance. Hamilton's journey is a testament to the power of intentional living, making choices each day that shape us, even when we feel like we've hit rock bottom. He didn't just overcome, he transformed his life by focusing on what truly mattered and by using his story to offer hope and purpose to others. Hamilton's journey shows us that living a passion-struck life isn't just about success. It's about reclaiming ourselves when we're lost, finding meaning in our struggles, and moving forward with purpose. Now, let's look at how his story reveals the powerful lessons we can all use to build a life of resilience, purpose, and intentionality. Lesson one, reclaim purpose even in dark times. At its lowest point, Hamilton's life could have continued its downward spiral. He was gripped by addiction, isolated from his family, and distanced from the game he once loved. But just when he felt that hope was gone, a family intervention led by his grandmother gave him a lifeline. She reminded him that his purpose was bigger than the cycle of pain he was caught in, that he had the potential to do more, to rise above addiction, and to build a life of meaning. Her tough love pushed Hamilton to confront his choices and make a conscious decision to reclaim his life. The takeaway here is that purpose isn't something that disappears forever. It's something that we can actively reclaim. When life feels like a dead end, we have the power to ask ourselves what truly matters. What are the things we're willing to fight for? Even in our darkest times, we can look within to discover our purpose or rediscover it. For Hamilton, the choice to face his struggles head on marked the first step toward a life of significance. Each of us can make that choice, no matter how tough things seem. The second powerful lesson that we can learn from Hamilton's story is that significance comes from our choices, not just our circumstances. Hamilton's journey wasn't just about getting clean. It was about taking full accountability for his life. He realized that the choices he made even the small daily ones, shaped his identity. After returning to the majors, Hamilton understood that significance wasn't about the draft pick status or the accolades he once held. It was about the courage to choose differently, to live intentionally, and to show others what it meant to rebuild a life of purpose. Taking accountability wasn't just about returning to the game, it was about reclaiming his sense of self-worth. The takeaway here is that our significance isn't determined by where we start or by the setbacks we face. It's defined by the choices we make. Living with intention means making conscious decisions that align with our values and build a life we can feel proud of. For Hamilton, choosing sobriety and a purposeful life each day was an act of reclaiming his significance. No matter what circumstances surround us, each choice we make is an opportunity to build a meaningful life. It's not our circumstances that make us matter. It's the courage to choose our path with intention. This leads us to the third powerful lesson that we can learn, turning pain into purpose. Hamilton's battle with addiction was a long and painful one, but he didn't let it end with his recovery. Instead, he used his experiences to make a difference. He became open about his struggles, sharing his story with fans and athletes alike. 
He spoke about the realities of addiction, offering hope and showing that recovery is possible. By doing this, Hamilton turned his own pain into a purpose that went beyond his achievements on the field. His story was no longer just about baseball. It was about using his platform to help others facing their own battles. The takeaway here is that sharing our struggles transforms them into gifts for others. When we turn our pain into purpose, we give it meaning and offer hope to others who may be fighting similar battles. Like Hamilton, each of us has the power to use our challenges to uplift others. This act of sharing doesn't just help those around us. It reinforces our own resolve and strengthens our own sense of purpose. We don't have to be defined by our hardships. Instead, we can use them to fuel a life that matters. Now let's talk about lesson four, building resilience as a lifestyle. Recovery was not a one-time decision for Hamilton. It was a lifestyle. Every day, he had to choose the path of resilience, to live intentionally despite the challenges that remained. His story shows that resilience isn't simply about bouncing back once. It's about making the choice to keep moving forward every single day. Hamilton built resilience by committing to sobriety, surrounding himself with a strong support system, and focusing on his goals both on and off the field. His lifestyle of resilience allowed him to become one of baseball's most inspiring comeback stories. The takeaway here for us is that building resilience requires us to live intentionally and commit to small, daily actions that make us stronger. It's not about ignoring setbacks. It's about choosing how we respond to them, whether it's creating healthy habits, cultivating supportive relationships, or focusing on our long-term goals. Resilience is something we can build over time. For Hamilton, each day was a step towards resilience, a conscious choice to fight for his life. By building resilience as a lifestyle, we create a foundation for a life of strength and purpose. And this leads us to our fifth lesson, using significance to ignite our path forward. When Hamilton returned to baseball, his motivations had shifted. He wasn't playing just for fame or fortune. He was playing to build a life of meaning, one that could impact others. His journey had shown him that significance came from more than just stats or wins. It came from living for something bigger than himself. Hamilton's story reveals that significance comes from the passion we pour into our lives, the people we uplift, and the legacy we choose to leave behind. For Hamilton, that passion became his driving force, one that fueled his comeback and helped him create a legacy beyond the field. The key takeaway here is that to create a life that truly matters, we must define what significance means to us. Living intentionally means connecting with the things that make us feel alive, fulfilled, and purposeful. It's about asking ourselves, what do I want my life to mean? What impact do I want to make? By pursuing what matters most to us, we can build a life that not only fulfills us, but inspires others. Hamilton's journey teaches us that success isn't measured by others' expectations, but by our own sense of purpose and passion. So as we wrap up Josh Hamilton's incredible journey, let's take a moment to reflect on what his story truly means. Hamilton's life teaches us that no matter how far we fall, we can reclaim purpose, rediscover significance, and reignite our lives from the inside out. His story goes beyond a comeback. It's about the intentional, purpose-driven steps he took to rebuild himself. Hamilton's transformation is a testament to living with purpose, showing us that building a life that matters is one that we construct deliberately, day by day, even when the odds seem stacked against us. Hamilton's redemption was born not from external success, but from within, an intention to create a life of meaning for himself and to inspire those around him. His journey embodies the heart of what it means to be passion struck, the belief that we all have the power to overcome, to rebuild, and to find strength and purpose within. Through each decision and each challenge he faced, Hamilton chose purpose over defeat, ultimately transforming his pain into a story that uplifts and empowers others. So, as you reflect on Hamilton's story, think about your own life. What purpose drives you? What pain, setback, or struggle can you transform into purpose? Who in your life might benefit from your encouragement, resilience, or example? Hamilton's journey challenges each of us to find the courage to turn our struggles into something meaningful, both for ourselves and for those we inspire. Hamilton's story shows us that life is about more than success or failure. It's about resilience, living with significance, and creating a legacy of purpose. Let's take these lessons forward and apply them in our own lives, choosing to be passion-struck, igniting our own paths, and building lives that truly matter. Because no matter where we start or how far we fall, each of us has the power to build a life of purpose and impact, one that leaves a mark far beyond ourselves. Wow, what an inspiring journey we just explored with Joss Hamilton's story. His resilience, his comeback, and his journey to reclaim his purpose remind us of the incredible power of choice and transformation, even when the past seems darkest. If there's one takeaway from today's episode, it's that every challenge we face can serve as a stepping stone to something greater 
when we choose to confront it with purpose and perseverance. As you reflect on Josh's story, I encourage you to think about where you might be holding yourself back. How can you take that first step toward reclaiming your own purpose? What support or changes might make a difference for you as you move forward? Remember, no matter where you are, you have the strength within you to overcome, rebuild, and thrive. If today's episode resonated with you, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Please take a moment to leave us a five-star rating and review. It helps us to continue bringing you powerful stories and reach even more people with these transformative conversations. And as always, the greatest compliment that you can give us is to share the episode with someone who might benefit from it. To explore these ideas further, don't forget to check out our show notes at passionstruck.com. you also find videos from today's episode on YouTube, so make sure to subscribe and stay updated. If you want to delve even deeper into topics like this, sign up for my Live Intentionally newsletter, where I share practical tools, weekly insights, and exclusive content directly with our community. Before we wrap up, I want to mention that if your organization or team is looking for an inspiring speaker on purpose, resilience, and intentional living, I'd love to connect. Head over to johnrmiles.com speaking to find out more about how I can bring Passion Struck's message to your next event. Now, let's take a quick peek at what's coming up next. In our upcoming episode, I'll be speaking with former NFL player, acclaimed speaker, and author, Bo Eason. Bo's journey from the football field to the stage has been nothing short of transformative, and he has powerful insights on what it takes to master your story and become the best at what you do. You won't want to miss it. Usually, your best story is the one you don't want to tell. Isn't that funny to say, like, there's a lot of stories that we want to tell, right? Like about, oh, I won the championship. Look at my trophy. I'm sure Tom Brady loves telling that story. Look, I won seven Super Bowls. I want to know the lowest moment Tom Brady's ever had, because that's the one that has the most connective tissue to it. Thank you as always for your time and attention. Remember, the fee for the show is simple. If you found value in today's episode, share it with someone who could benefit. And as always, do your best to apply what you hear on the show so that you can live what you listen. Until next time, live life passion struck.